Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So I need to start off by saying that this has been a tough week for recording things. I went out for yard sales and I found uh, some interesting items, but I didn't have my memory card in my spy camera glasses. So there's no footage from yard sale scores, nothing, uh, no hunting video. And then uh, we had a couple of bad thunderstorms in the last week and a half and I was actually editing the Comic-Con video. Now while the video was uh, rendering for playback, the power went out. We had, uh, like I said, like some pretty bad uh, thunder showers just because of the heat and the humidity. Uh, every night it was raining, the power was going out, so a lot of my footage was corrupt. There's not that much that I have left. I'm going to try and salvage what I can. So unfortunately, Comic-Con uh, 2016, that video might have to get pushed back into August. So what I'm going to do is just show you the things that I got from Comic-Con. Uh, some things that I picked up from yard sales and I apologize again guys I really wanted to share that footage with you guys, but you know shit happens sometimes But I'm still optimistic that you're gonna enjoy this episode and all the goodies that I picked up So first thing I want to show you guys is the unboxing of a 500 subscriber contest that I won I won Chris Miller's subscriber contest and he's already well over 500 I think he's into the 600s now congratulations again Chris and thanks for pulling my name Chris Miller's got an awesome channel, he does a lot of pickups, he's very intelligent, he's genuine and he seems like a really friendly guy, I enjoy watching his stuff. His uh, link will be down in the descriptions, I highly suggest you go check him out. And he had uh, a, a pretty good variety of things that you could win when your name was pulled and he actually chose two winners which is you know great for him. So I, I was the first name pulled and I tried to take um, something that I still wanted but a smaller um, price just because I know shipping right now from the States to Canada and vice versa is ridiculous. So I tried to save him a few dollars and I'm gonna show you what I picked. So as you can see, it's still a pretty good sized box that he sent me and there's some goodies in here, the stuff that I wanted and there's a letter, let's start with that. And I read, it says Ryan, if you guys remember that's my English name, congrats on winning my 500 subscriber contest. Enjoy the games and thanks for supporting my channel, Chris. Simple to the point, and you know, it's handwritten. I really appreciate that. Thanks again, Chris. So the goodies inside, and this has been packed really well. Like, I gotta give him props again just for the packing that he did. So we have a big package of Wii games. I chose some Wii games. <clears throat> so we got a pretty good stack of Wii games. We'll go through these. House of the Dead. 2 and 3 Return, which is an awesome uh, kind of rail shooter. I know most people have played House of the Dead before. Uh, I know almost everyone had to have played Part 1 in the arcades before. I'm really looking forward to this. I had this before, but I traded it out when I sold one of my first Wii's, and I regretted it ever since. Not that it's super hard to find, it's just uh, I can never find it for the price that I want, and I'm really looking forward to this one again. World War II Aces which is a flying game. I haven't played it before, but I enjoy the dog fights. I'm gonna give this a try. Wii Fit, I've picked up the board before, but the game that it came with was like ridiculously scratched up. So, you know, I'm gonna give this a try and see how my balance is, especially after the, the knee operation a few years ago. A staple for any Wii collection, Resident Evil 4. Uh, you know, an awesome game. I played it on the GameCube and I'm looking forward to trying it out on the Wii. And last is Major League Baseball Power Pros. And the way that this is set up, it's very child-friendly. It looks like you can unlock characters. There's a lot of uh, Major League teams in here. And I'm gonna have fun with this. This is always good to turn on when the guys are around, just, you know, having a few beers. And then the last thing, part of it was an Intech Combat Shooter Bundle, where it comes with the gun. I have the one from the Link Cross crossbow trainer so now I'm gonna have two guns so this again will be fun to have uh, two guns at the same time make it a little more fun to have people over and this is definitely going to be used in conjunction with House of the Dead so thanks again Chris congratulations on the 500 subscriber and here's to a thousand next up are all the items from comic-con that I picked up my yard sale scores and I'm gonna do another unboxing of a mystery box in the shape of a Mario coin box that I picked up at comic-con 
Starting off with the Comic-Con pickups, this is Roadbuster from the 30th anniversary of Transformers, $8. For $50, I picked up the Giant Link from World of Nintendo, very awesome, happy to have this. The Mystery Box, which we will op open soon. Uh, Fallout Nuka Cola Cap. And this is just for making a donation to the Parkinson's research thing for Michael J. Fox. It's a DeLorean license. And then all my stuff from EB's and Microju. Far Cry Primal, picked this up for $20. Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, 9 bucks For $4, a 4 gig memory card. These are cheap now. Uh, EB Exclusive, Song of the Deep. Toy Soldier War Chest, fun strategy game. And then this is the collector's edition of Resistance 2, still sealed, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And from a thrift store for two dollars, this they claim it's a white Optimus Prime, but it turns into Ultra Magnus because it's a connector. And this is everything I picked up. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, so at Comic Con they had three different sizes of mystery boxes. 20, 35, and 100 dollars. I bought the $35 one. My buddy Wyman actually bought a $100 one. And this is all the stuff that I got in this mystery box. And I'm even going to keep the box because it looks like something out of Mario. So there's a cheap Legend of Zelda shirt. A pretty decent uh, beach towel for Darth Vader style. An R2-D2 sippy cup. One of those Doctor Who electric screwdrivers. I don't really watch. I love lamp keychain. Some kind of little Superman style keychain fluffy guy a book for Sherlock Holmes yeah, that's what it was Sherlock Holmes the box was okay for 35 it's always nice to meet the creators when you go to Comic-Con you get to see the the inkers the artists even sometimes the writers and there was an interesting booth there they were selling these CDs it was uh, one for ten dollars or two for eighteen so I picked up these two this one is Concert Super Nintendo, which we all know I'm a huge Super Nintendo fan, hence the name of the channel. And the Zelda Concert. These guys play a lot in the Montreal area. They travel all over, and they're called Le Orchestra de Jeux Video, which is the video game orchestra. And they had a, a nice booth, a nice setup, very friendly people, and the music is fantastic. What it is, essentially, is a video game music, but done by a live orchestra. It's beautiful, and they have a website. I highly suggest you check, check these guys out. So the first place I stopped at right away, I saw the green boxes, I knew I had to go check them out. It's Xbox One games, and if you look at the prices, these were 5 bucks each, which is an incredible deal on these games. Now I have these three games already, so I'm going to trade them in at EB's, I'm going to try and pick up a copy of Doom, see how much I can knock down the price. It's going for about 60 used, so hopefully I can ship away at the price. So the first one is Gears of War Ultimate Edition, second is NHL 16. And third is Evolve. Next up are a couple of vintage vehicles. These are all from 83 and 84. This is the G.I. Joe Snowcat, I believe. I had this as a child, but you know, it just disappeared uh, growing up. And I don't know, I probably gave it to my little brother. He gave it to a cousin and it just disappeared. Last of the toys, this is from 2007. I'm guessing this is from the second trilogy by the color and the design of it. It's got a droid on top. I'm not sure what his name is. Obviously, if anyone knows his name, put it down in the comments. But this one looks really nice. I'm not sure if there was any wings. I'm sure there was projectiles that were supposed to be part of it because the thrusters in the back seem like a button. But again, for 50 cents, this was too nice to pass up. It's in really good condition. And this is also going to be displayed on my shelf. This I could not pass up on. Obviously, it's not the one from my childhood. This is from 2006, but it's a Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Both of the two fighters on top still work really well. I just have to clean it up a little bit. And that's gonna do it for another episode, guys. Again, I apologize for losing the footage. Forgetting the SD card for the spy camera glasses is entirely on me. That was just a goof. But the thunder showers, you know, like the power going out, that's just that's just the way it goes sometimes. So again, it, it sucks that I lost that footage, but the, the clips that I do have, hopefully that can be stretched out into an episode later on in August. 
Uh, another interesting thing guys, if you haven't heard or seen yet, I have a second channel now just dedicated to my collections. The first video was up and that's on all my Game Boy and Game Boy Color games and handhelds. You can check that out in the descriptions and it's called Loxness Collections. Until next time guys, thanks for stopping in. Have a great rest of the summer and I'll see you later.